Electrification has ushered us into an era of automotive superlatives, and the Lucid Air Sapphire is its new horsepower king. With 1,234 ponies courtesy of a three-motor powertrain, the Lucid Air Sapphire sprints to 60 in less than two seconds, and yet it still is estimated to achieve 420 miles of EPA range. That's an incredible amount of efficiency and performance in a vehicle that looks like a luxury sedan. Let's take it for a spin. The Lucid Air gets all of that grunt courtesy of a three-motor electric powertrain. There's a single motor up front and two motors on the rear that give the car true torque vectoring, which means it will actually overdrive the outside rear wheel when you're diving hard into a corner to prevent understeer and give you the most balance that you could possibly get. That gives the Lucid Air a zero to 60 time of 1.9 seconds, as well as an EPA estimated maximum range of at least 420 miles. We're still waiting on final numbers, but Lucid is very confident that we're going to be impressed. But you can't just throw a bunch of power at a car and call it a day. You also need to give it the handling and stability to control and harness all of that power. That's why the Sapphire gets a unique suspension setup with stiffer steel springs and revised multi-valve dampers to give it more control over the wheels. The final component of the car's control equation is a unique set of massive carbon ceramic brakes, 420 millimeters up front, 380 millimeters in the back, with 10 piston front calipers and four piston rears. That is an incredible amount of stopping power, and it likely solves our greatest complaint about the standard Lucid Air GT performance. There's also some really trick cosmetic alterations to this car as well, starting with this gorgeous coat of metallic blue paint. Go over to the other side of the car and you'll see that it almost turns black in the shadows, but here in the sun, it absolutely pops with a really substantial metal flake that looks almost like the gel coat of a powerboat or an old hot rod. It's phenomenal. There's also carbon fiber mirror caps and a ducktail rear spoiler, as well as a revised aero kit underneath the car to give you more downforce and less lift. Inside, you also get a few little tweaks, starting with an all black Mojave colorway with extensive use of Alcantara suede. There are also some sapphire accents throughout, including the stitching of the seats and the unique coloring of the gauge cluster. And most importantly, you get a very bold, very supportive set of sports seats with microfiber inserts to keep you in place during hard cornering. Best of all, you get Lucid's signature little California bear throughout, kind of reminding you that you're driving something homegrown and special. But as they say, talk is cheap. We gotta get this thing out on the road. I'm about to go for a spin in the Lucid Air Sapphire, but before I do that, please be sure to subscribe to the Motor One YouTube channel and find us on all of your favorite social media. That's Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, and Threads. You can also catch up with Motor One on the Ramblin' About Cars podcast and Test Car Happy Hour, both of which are available live on Wednesday nights and Thursday mornings, as well as anywhere you get your podcasts. Now, let's go for a spin. Driving the Lucid Air Sapphire is a lot like driving any other Lucid Air when you first get into it. Uh, obviously right now we are in the most relaxed, smooth mode. There's also a dedicated track mode that gives you access to stability controls and regenerative braking without having to dig into any sub menus. You just have it right there, ready to go. Track mode also has a few different settings for if you want maximum performance over a quarter mile drag strip or over a single hot lap. And then there's also an endurance mode if you plan on doing lots of successive hot laps and need to keep consistent performance throughout. We're gonna do a quick launch in Sapphire mode just to feel the full brunt of that 1,230 plus horsepower. Oh my gosh. <laughs> that was 60 miles an hour in no time whatsoever. That was insane, unbelievable. But even when you're in the standard smooth mode, you just get tons and tons of performance. The one thing that you do miss out on a little bit is maneuverability when you're in that smooth mode. And that's because Lucid engineers programmed the rear differential to actually underdrive the outside rear wheel when you're in that smooth mode to kind of eliminate some of the twitchiness that you might get in another high-performance sedan. Toggle it over to Swift or Sapphire, however, and you get incredible balance and performance through every corner. I won't show you how to do it right now because we're on a public road, but a few minutes ago, I gunned it through some seriously tight intersections and corners, and you could really feel that outside rear wheel overdriving and tightening up the line, even though I wasn't using the brakes whatsoever. It was insane. Beyond that, frankly, outrageous performance, what I'm most impressed by is that the Lucid Air Sapphire doesn't really drive particularly twitchy or insane 
when you just want to tootle around like I'm doing right now. 30 miles an hour, this thing handles it no problem. I've driven cars with a quarter of the horsepower that feel a lot hairier and more twitchy and nervous to drive than this does. Even though I only got a few minutes behind the wheel, I'm fairly confident in saying that the Lucid Air Sapphire might be the most exciting vehicle I'll drive all year long. I would love to get a chance to test it under different circumstances, less traffic, more curves, longer straightaways, etc. But considering we went 60 miles an hour in the space of less than a city block, I'm totally fine with my experience thus far. All I can say now is, I hope to see you later sometime soon, Sapphire. <laughs> Thanks for watching.